All right, guys, a little cardio to warm up. We are here at the lift factory, and the 50-50 is in place, man. I'm just under, just under four. So we're going to get some back in today. Uh, we stayed close to home today. I've been training closer to home, and uh, lift factory is one of those iconic gyms that you have to check out when you come to Las Vegas. So you guys see all the, all the uh, murals on the wall. You see the, the posing room. It's got it all here for every kind of training, and today is my favorite day of the week so it's back training so we're going to knock out like 30 sets of back so come on in let's kill it okay we'll get the sweat going we already get a little cardio in place there's one in a million i look at the mirror and ask myself man are you the hero or villain but who am i kidding this time i shake up the building this time i'm picking up arms they harming the women and children look at the way that we work to get very assertive look at the faces very alert and look at the way they So that was a long one. I think I got 24, 26 sets in. We're gonna check the scale right now. What do you think my weight is? That's the question. So I always, I've been telling people I'm like 230, but we gotta obey the rules of the scale here. Let's take the shoes off. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Okay. So 238, round 238. Hey brother, what's up man? How we doing? Good sir. 238, so it's a little heavier than what I thought. All right, so just under, just under four, man. I never thought I'd get here. And uh, to be honest, I'm not satisfied. I mean, you know, my weight is a lot more stable than what I thought it was. It's funny, I weigh myself at home. You guys know this, like, unless you're on a exact scale, every scale is kind of different. I weigh myself when I wake up in the morning and I've been like 233, 234. So it would make, make about sense. I have uh, about three meals in me right now. Um, like I said, I like to train after three meals instead of after one meal. I mean, I do that some days, some days I train after four meals, but I've had the best results from actually training after three or four meals. The pump is better today. I got a crazy pump. I like training in the heat. And one thing about training at the lift factory, the heat is a little more extreme than some of the other gyms. And, uh, for me, it's, it's totally ideal to, uh, you know, to get the, the workout in and, and get a sweat going because some of these gyms when it's a little colder it's a little harder but uh you know the next few weeks are really important for what i'm trying to do right now so what i'm going to do is focus on you know trying to maintain weight of course lean out at the same time uh you know keep everything in in tune and you know i'm doing one hour of cardio in the morning and 30 minutes at night and it's giving me a great benefit to keep the metabolism going i am getting leaner which is the key like I said, I don't know what the end goal is gonna end up like. I mean, August 3rd is the end date, but we'll see what happens. I mean, I told you, I'm gonna keep going after this. You know, I've had a gr lot of great response. I was in Ohio this past weekend and I can't believe how many people are following the journey. So instead of calling it the Fit for 50, I've been saying the Fit 4 because there's so many people that have jumped on 
no matter what the age is, whether it's younger or older, uh, that have been encouraged or been motivated. And I think, you know, right now, since I'm not getting on the stage and I'm not working toward any, towards any accolades, I think it's important that I give that motivation. I mean, that's the best gift that can be, be given to me after, you know, being retired now. Like I said, it's a 10 year anniversary. Uh, so I'm going to keep it going. I'm going to keep it going after the third. I do, like I said, want to take that shirt off at the uh, at the Masters, show the physique and a little improved from uh, what it's been. And, you know, we're going to see how that goes. But uh, I'm really glad that I've gotten a lot of people out there encouraging me and keeping me going. That really works for me. Uh, this weekend is Houston. Uh, so I'll be in Houston there for the American Fit Expo. Then we roll over to Mexico City the following weekend. And, of course, it goes after that Anaheim. Uh, actually right after the birthday and then of course the Jay Cutler Classic in Virginia August 12th and uh, and then I'll see you guys at the Masters Olympia so make sure you guys keep uh, keep on following along you know we'll be doing all these updates the Fit for 50s in full effect and uh, you know whether it's YouTube Instagram Snapchat uh, TikTok you know we're putting out a ton of content so I want to say thank you guys keep uh, keep uh, keep commenting keep um, motivating those people around you and I w want to say I appreciate you guys so much so for JTV, J Mac and myself, uh, we are out. No mercy for you, no worries for you. That Game of Thrones, go Cersei on you.